Oh, oh Rudolfo. Rudolfo Pan, our ambassador to, used to be ex-ambassador to Shell. I apologize, but now you have to sit and listen. Remember, you weren't understanding when I said, you know, it's just not cool in general during COVID to say that you allow us to use the bathroom, remember? I'm going to get over that. Yeah, I know, you were right. You've, it was cool. You did allow me most of the time. But right, I was pointing out that you guys never did it. Yeah, I kept coming up, right, recording it. And each time I'd go, really? It's still, it's still broken? And you guys wouldn't fix this bathroom. So since I've been in your parking lot since, what was it? When we first meet, uh, Rudolfo, Rudolfo, do you remember when you, I did that thing for you? In it was Grubhub or DoorDash. You know where you get a bonus, and you and you said, "What well, will you do this thing?" And I did it. Do you remember that? It's a thing. It's kind of a hassle if you knew me. You know, ah, uh, did you ever get your bonus? But you know what I mean. You forgot all about that. You just came in this last time and you had your arms all like you know you know what happened you were there you saw it i'm just saying when we first met i fooled you right you you came out you said something about i was uh what was it you you said i was taking up this space because i was taking up a vacuum cleaner space and you said that's the way we make our money. Now I knew it was like you. They would just tell you to do that. It was probably Jeremy or someone through their uh, video, the the camera thing. I know we've all seen Breaking Bad, but it's not that. You just came over, and you forgot everything. Like, I mean, I took it personally. Like you had forgotten if I'd played at your daughter's quinceanera. The thing is that you still didn't know my name. I've known you for years, Rudolfo, right? And I think maybe it's Gustavo. I, I did a mistake. I didn't want to call you Gustavo because in Breaking Bad, right, he, he gets his face blown off and I didn't, I didn't want that to happen to you. And I was so happy that we met here in my hometown, right? And I was trying to explain to you, you know, I used to come to this particular shell and uh, ride my Schwinn I'm saying this to, uh, I think this is Mary Magdalene. I'm sorry, I was, I was so tired. I, it was two days I was up. I tried to comment, but somebody finally said yes and, and said that, that they had this white purple version of it. It was like the banana sea, but instead of like mine, mine was like this silver thing. It's this long, elongated seat. You have to be from that era. It's a classic Schwinn. And I would go into this shell station, the exact same one, and we would always try to like um, fill up our tires on the bikes. And uh, um, sometimes if you weren't paying attention, like if I was looking over at this girl at her, my Schwinn was just manly, you know, it had the ball breaker, we call it. It's a five speed, it's an actual gear shift, right? It doesn't really do anything. I don't think so. That's necessary. And you end up running into it over and over and over again, right? But mine was like, I don't know, my stepfather spray painted. He was always spray painting. Tweakers, do you understand? I've had friends like that. But now I've learned, Rudolfo, you know, I was just sitting there in that, that spot since, uh, what was it, last year? Thanksgiving. I was parked there with my mama's car, right? It was Marilyn Manson's car. I never got my birthday, and I was like, okay, from, you know, I'm telling everyone on this YouTube. I just kept filming myself. It was pathetic, right? And there was nobody else there. And so I filmed every day, Rudolfo. It was ridiculous. It was so delusions of grandeur of me, but... That's what was keeping me alive, right? Because my, my child died, right? Yeah, you weren't getting all that. Yeah, I did this whole trek and um, the car went into flames. I mean, you never had time for me to explain all this. All I'm saying is that, Rodolfo, I, 
I got you a bonus. You made me go through a hassle. I don't, I don't even want a phone. Do you understand? And I probably had to do some, like a certain amount of things. You, you know how that pyramid scheme works. So that means I worked for you for a while, Rodolfo. And here you just come, you, you just became new and you're like, you come over and you go, you know what? You got to go. You know, we let you use the bathroom. You repeated that. We let you use the bathroom. I'm like, Rodolfo, it's been, or Gustavo, it's been closed. I've been shitting behind that um, wall there. So have these other people, these other nomads. I mean, what are you guys doing? But right now, there's nobody using it. So if, and they always say this magical thing. I found this, all the corporations. He says, well, there were three people complaining that they couldn't get in. I mean, it's this thing that, wait, I'm here, I'm filming it. Can I play back the, the, the whole day in time lapse? They don't want to look at the video. They don't want to hear what they said another day before. They say you can't do that, but they never say erase it. So they must think you didn't really do it. I don't know what they're doing in their heads. But he comes over, okay, where I'm really sad. I'm not getting my way, right? It's been a long year. I was trying all year. I wanted to get my bonus like in Vegas vacation where he just goes to the, the villain, this Jeremy's house, who's laughing at him over the phone. And he goes right to the house and just takes over the proceedings, right? And it's humorous. I'm not going to even tell you about it. It would be too comical, too nice for you, Jeremy. Because I'm upset. Because you came over. You said I had to go. I said, really, three people. Okay, so three people, they used the uh, 75 cents inside this vacuum cleaner. Let's just figure out for the boss how much did they lose, right? If it's Because he said it that way. It's because of the money. That's how we make the money. He kept repeating that. That's how we make the money. And I was going, what? I've been in your parking lot, right? It's ideal for like months. They just never noticed me. And then I guess Jeremy told somebody. I don't know. God, people are loud. Doesn't that sound abusive? But he's just talking to his dog. And you have to talk that way to them, right? Ah, oh, well, there's... El Cito was delicious, so that was nice. Um, getting back to... Yeah, you you and Nayeli, you started to pull some sort of racial card on me. I did not like that. Anyways, and when you came to Nayeli's aid, she was like sucking on her fingers, right? She had her mask down. That's odd. We haven't made that decision yet. At a shell station, I'm just saying... Because you aren't the uh, point market. It's a different market. And I could point out, like I tried to point out to the woman at the World Station, I know I got to say Fuel Depot, across the street from Jeremy's point market, Special on Turnpike. But I've also been kicked out of the Walnut, on the Walnut Avenue. And I knew Jeremy, I got to tell, that this Jeremy had a photo of me in the back because it was a brand new pawn who came out who just said the blanket, I don't know who you are, but listen to this. You still said, just get some gas and leave. Yeah, I don't think Shell's going to like you. Everything that I play back. I'm sorry, Rodolfo. I'm only playing that same scene. You saw what it was. You shouldn't have called the cops. The cops just said, okay, stand over there, right? It's just, I showed you where the public was. You still should let people go to the bathroom. And you have to understand, Rudolfo, I've been in this town since 1969. And so Shell, they're trying to apologize, you understand, for these seals and other animals. Just all sea life was in this tar. The remembrance of it never went away. And it was because the Shell said they are. They got an oil spill, but they were private. And so all of Santa Barbara had to just look and they couldn't even touch anything. They couldn't start to, to help these animals. Do you understand, Rudolfo? Tell that to Nayeli. All I asked her was, do you know what a First Amendment audit is? She didn't want to know. Do you know what the First Amendment is? And all I'm saying is that my grandfather could never learn English. He, it, he never learned it, but he could recite 
the First Amendment. And instead of the Nayeli looking up toward the camera and going, well, no, I don't know. And I could have just told her, well, it's freedom to um, film in public. And I was in public. And you can't trespass anything that the eye can see. So citizens shouldn't be like, oh, you can't be filming me. It's like, well, if I can see you, that's my First Amendment right. And since I was the only First Amendment auditor, and every policeman I talked to did not know what it was, and I'd see him again, and they, did, they had told me that they were going to check it, but nobody did. Everyone I told doesn't even care. And I'm going, do you know that there's riots? Like, you could get maced in this situation. Do you know that there's, like, a synagogue that's being sued? Do you know that Johnny Five O from Los Angeles high-fives the police department? But here, some library cop, like, threw him to the ground. Well, you know, I was just trying to tell you that he got thrown from private to public and back again. It doesn't matter, Rudolfo. I was right there waiting for you. I had your VIN numbers. I just sat over there, right? And I kept throwing trash in your guys' trash cans. So I filled up all the trash in your trash cans with my feet in perfect public. And I protested, right? And I took everybody's licensing plate going in and out because you know there is a public place there where they got to go in. If we got to get into your place and out, that you got to make it public because what if we just need to turn around when we decide, oh, you know what? You're way more expensive than Jeremy's place. Hold on. I'm going to go to his uh, fuel depot on Hollister. Hold on. You know what? Shell's not going to like that. Yeah, because you at that, you know what you do, Jeremy, at that one, you give out these free car washes at that one if they give them a special price at your fuel depot and you send them to where? To the one, the shell that scratched up the car that I'm sitting in right now. Yeah, and I tried to tell, that's the first time I started to get mad. I bought this brand new car. They knew it your pawns it goes through once and the brand new rims were just scratched and i showed to him like oh my god look at that i just got it yesterday i wish i hadn't gone through here should i go to the ford people and tell them like and they like is there something wrong it wasn't not made for this type of car because it's these summer tires it's just it, they seem to get in the way with everybody and everything um and they just laughed it off like I was trying to rip them off. And that's the thing. That's what really bothered me. I've been going into that, that store, dude, Jeremy. I'm sorry, I'm getting back to Jeremy, but he's your boss in some, one way or another. Um, in that point market when it was Captain Video, that dude was the coolest uh, cat because he would write what he thought about any, all the videos. We'd want to go to this Captain Video just for that. You guys now, you use it as this, like, pathetic, that part where he was ranting it. Like, you kicked him out, and now it's just, a, like, a storage space for a little box. There's nothing in this storage space. It's all dirty. And you got this box of gloves or something for the COVID. You won't need that much longer, right? <sighs> and all the COVID, oh, God, I'm not going to talk about all the, the food. Oh, the coffee. Oh, the horrors. All right, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. It's Rudolfo. So Rudolfo, I'm telling you, Nayeli, that just wasn't a nice way to go. But Rudolfo, when I just said, okay, how much is three times 75 cents? And you wouldn't tell me. You're just like, I don't want to talk to you. You're, and you started yelling, and then you walked away. You all do that. That is not polite. That is not, oh, my God. That is not the... The customer is always right. And then when we finally tell you all this and we don't let we, we don't let you go anywhere, you just give us this number for this care line for Shell that doesn't work on Saturday and Sundays. And that's the most traveled days. So we can never get care, people. I mean, we're going to have to take Shell on a ride too, right? They're going to have to change a little. Um, they put a, 
they they added that it was because of the COVID. That's horrendous. If you if you ever call that number, please call it. Just call the eight hundred care line for Shell Corporate to get something back, to get some money maybe f- that it stole from you on the weekend, so you can't vacation. Or like me, when the point market, they decided, I guess, the people working there at three in the morning, Jeremy, you should know who they are, uh, Rudolfo or Gustavo, maybe you know them. Um, but you guys know, like, it was closed for just an awkward 20 minutes, so I didn't know what you were doing in the back. I wasn't filming. I was trying to, you know, get home. So, because I knew the next morning I'm going to have to go pick up my daughter. It was my turn, right? You understand? Divorce has its things, right? No, I guess you didn't care. So, I'm going to have to tell you the story, Gustavo, because maybe you can pass it on. So, I'm outside and they're gone. And uh, later, when I told about it the next morning to another person in there, and they knew me really well. They just looked at me and said, that's impossible. We're, we're open 24 hours. And I'm like, I was staring right at your The Point Market door. I saw it locked. They were gone. Why are you saying this? Let's see the cameras, you know? Yeah. Nobody believes me. I'm trying to rip them off. But what happened was I put the card in. I can only do like a certain amount. It flips it in a decimal point. So I think I put in $10. I was just trying to really save on this card so I could spend the weekend well with my daughter, you know, feed her and and put gas and we could do stuff. Um, So I put $10 of gas. That's all I need in this car. It's awesome. But it flipped the decimal point and told the card that it was $100. And so I'm looking at this machine going, what? But like, it's not even giving me... I forgot what it was. It wasn't giving me the $10. or I, I don't remember. I was so... Whoa, I was just stuck. And I'm looking and I can't talk to a human. And it's 3 in the morning. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was terrible. And anyways, I drive, you know, I drive home and I'm going to deal with it the next morning. And the next morning they make it like I'm the lying one. And I'm still in my head staring at this door where it was all lit up. And I knew I'd just seen him in there. I was like, damn, I wish I'd just asked him before. I wasn't trying to get him in trouble. But right away, they just said, no, that's impossible. We're 24 hours. They just covered themselves without even looking at the videos. And then when you go, well, actually, I did film it this time. They go, well, no, you can't do that. What do you mean? You filmed them smoking crack out of the line of our cameras, out of the line of Shell's cameras or the Points cameras. I wonder who's the cameras. Rudolfo, you you seem to know all that. You're going to have to tell me. You're going to have to tell me. But anyways, you couldn't tell me what 3 times 75 cents is. Nayeli suddenly just didn't like me. She was going back and forth from liking me until I pointed out. I know you guys, like, didn't clean. I walked in. It's dirty. No, Nayeli I didn't like because she accused me of smoking something else, too. And then they finally lowered it to to smoking cigarettes. And I said, they said it went through the vents. I mean, it's impossible. They'd be smelling everyone's shit. But maybe, I don't know. But something happened. Something happened. She, She didn't give me the key or someone, something happened in the key thing where I got, I got slammed with someone else's thing, but I wasn't even there. But the whole thing is that everyone knows. I just smoke in my car. There's a thousand dollar fine, Rudolfo. I was always saying, isn't that weird? I think it's in one of the videos. I, I, I say to one of the employees there, uh, isn't it weird? You know, there's a thousand dollar fine. Why would I do that? I think I keep repeating that to everyone. Why would, when I always, when I've been sitting smoking in my car, just yelling at the world and filming it, like there's nothing around me. But meanwhile, they're, they're treating me kind of like a terrorist. I was getting why we have those rules. Yeah. But I felt bad because I kept going, I'm a... But you guys don't know, right? I, I rode that Schwinn bicycle with a girlfriend and, and blew my tire up with the, uh, the air pump. It's not like what you guys got now, but it wasn't, it, was the, it wasn't meant for bikes, those things. You had to concentrate. You wouldn't know any of those things. And I, I wanted to teach you. Everyone who's been mean to me, kind of, I've always wanted to learn Spanish. 
And uh, I've always learned you guys are really warm. And but I think now I see you're kind of just into your own families, and you're suspicious of any of us if we just start to talk back. And you, the really thing I hate is you don't look us in the eyes or even just search our mouths. Like I just kept trying to get Nayeli to look at my mouth and then I realized, oh damn, we're wearing masks. Oh my God. See, see, Rudolfo, Gustavo. I don't want to be mean to her. It's just she went directly to get you, Rudolfo, and you should have just gone, oh, come on. But you kept going, this is a place of business. That's, that's uh, corporate talk. And I'm filming all around. There's nobody there. There was nobody in the market. There's nobody in the room with us. Nobody even on that pump. They were on the way on the other side and they weren't even listening to us. They couldn't hear us from over there. But you're telling me I'm making this disturbance. You start to speak perfect English. But it's like you were trained that, huh? They might drill that to you at the boot camp. It's not cool to do that when someone says, I've been here, Yanni across the street. Did you know how long he's been there? We went to La Colina Junior High School together. And Kathy Ireland did too. And we ate the first Egg McMuffin down there at that McDonald's that lets me back in, even though I pointed out a thing with their dirt water on one place and they learned and they let me back in. And now they let me film. But you guys didn't even want to say, okay, oh, what is the First Amendment? She was sucking on her fingers. They're not, they're not supposed to do that. And, and her mask was down. So it showed she had no respect for me. My mask was on. I was talking correctly. I was just very, you guys were going crazy on me all of a sudden. You were not the same. You were robots. You're not human. And I think I mentioned it. And you guys got to understand it. You guys, every, all of you, stop saying this public and private. Just, I think like me. I don't care how it turns out. If you show up at my house and say you need to use the toilet. And you say like I have been telling you guys that you have a problem intestinally like, like Kurt Cobain. And you understand bipolar and you know he's bipolar, and you know Lee McMillan died after being in a shell. The one over on Turnpike, where there's a fuel depot across for it. And since this, you know, Jeremy, he doesn't want to fess up, I've decided just this, it's somebody inside that shell, inside the point market. So now we're going to look at the day, we're going to take her direct tra tra trajectory sorry i got a speech impediment but we're going to start on the train tracks behind san marcus high school and we're just going to walk straight back and we're going to look at the day and say who was in the room maybe it's going to be that guy who refused me aspirin and that's going to be like whoa one guy says the wrong thing to two bipolars. What's the, right? Did she need an aspirin? He just didn't like something she said or she heard something. But you have other people. I could just make it you, Jeremy, even though you're saying you're not there. Is that a threat? You see how different it is? I can just talk to you guys like you talk to me. Yeah. I'm just going to stay cool. Yeah, and rustle things around. Did you hear the last one, Jeremy, where I'm just rustling? That's what you do. That's what my sister's phone does. They don't know. It, it sounds like you just don't care, especially if it's talking in the... Hey, shh, hey, I don't know. Talking, I don't know what he's talking about. And then I have to yell. Then they're like, oh, my God. He's yelling. Listen to this. He's talking about these TVs. What's the TV? And you wanted me to say monitor. I get it, but we're not going to talk your language. It's just they are very loud. And there is, let's see. So we got the Ramada. There's just all those houses right there. There is the new American, whatever that thing where I did a whole video saying, we are too white in Santa Barbara. We need to be more black. Um, that one. What does it say? Extended stay. So you don't care about the extended stay. 
You don't care about where my mom lives. You don't care about the county facilities. You don't care about those condos that are all county. I'm in one of them. I can hear you. And then I've been to the jail several times. I can hear those sets. And believe me, they don't like it. They, it, it does what it does to me at my house. It keeps me awake. And we don't want to buy in your 805. And we don't want to come into your point market because you didn't allow us in last night. You're the reason why we got in jail. You kicked us out. And it could be that guy or that gal. Now it's up to you. Who's going to go? Because you're not going to find the videos, any of you, of, now that you recognize me, now that I've taken off my mask, right? Count the money. Crystal, now that you found out who I am, oh, damn, 35 years in the same school here, invented by the mama. Oh, she's pissed off at the, oh, one of those places, right? You're, you guys are so doomed that everyone on the channel, finally, they made it to 169. Yeah, it's got to go to 169. And we will be placing this in whose hands? District of 30 Dudley. Yeah, she heard the call. You thought she was going to be all mad. No. Joe Woodard and the Independent, they all were like, no. We, they just wanted... It's the same thing that happened with the uh, UGP vlogs and uh, Joe Kaiser. They, they, need, they knew that I needed to go back into the dark. They knew all the memory had to be taken away. They couldn't put any money. Nobody could help me. I had to sweat it all out like I was Gandhi... And then I just started talking, right? And I took the images away. And I said the most worse things. I turned things that you guys, had you just been nice, uh, I wouldn't have altered the tape so badly. So I am a genius, you know that. You know I'm an analog genius and I'm going to be a master with the tapes on both sides. What you guys say, how I said it. How badly you made me feel. Yeah. You, you were laughing then. Wait till you hear what I say next year.